protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. I'm one of the producers of the Caravan Channel and I've got a bit of a confession to make. I've never actually been in a caravan. Well, okay, I've filmed in loads of them, but there's a big difference between filming in one and actually going on holiday in one. So my colleagues in the office have decided that that's got to change. So this is a dummy's guide to first time caravanning and I'm the dummy. And the first step to me getting out of that director's chair and into the driving seat is to pick a tow car. So I had a budget of about six grand and I decided to buy a Kia Sorento. I went for a 2005 uh, 2.5 diesel. It's four wheel drive, which appeals to me. It's not exactly a rocket ship, but you know, it's got plenty of low end torque, which is probably gonna be what I need for towing a caravan. It won tow car of the year, which I also know is good for, for me for this trip. And it's, you know, it's, it's not too bad. You get a lot of car for your money and it's big enough to fit all the uh, crew and the kit in it. So, so far, I'm pretty happy. Okay, so I've got the car and isn't she a beauty? Well, now it's time to fit the tow bar. So I've come to the professionals to get a bit of advice. So Ben, I am new to caravanning, I've mm -hmm. just bought my tow car which you can see mm -hmm. and as I understand it, I need a tow bar. I know nothing about tow bars at all, so where do I need to start? Okay, there's a couple of different options you can have with tow bars to start with. Uh, there are fixed tow bars and there are detachable tow bars. Fixed tow bars are permanently mounted onto the back of the vehicle uh, and are not easily removed. Detachable tow bars have a quick release system, which means that when not in use, you can remove the, the neck of the tow ball to shave your shins in the car park, or if you have parking sensors, to uh, enable them to work when you've not got anything attached at the back. Okay, well my Sorento does have parking sensors and I value my shins, so I'll most likely go for a detachable. Is it the kind of thing that I can fit myself? You can fit it yourself. Their tow bars come with full fitting instructions. However, many people want to take their vehicle to a professional establishment uh, and enable uh, a, a reputable organisation to uh, fit the tow bar on their behalf. And when it comes to electrics, now as I understand it, you need to hook it up. Um, what's involved in that and what kind of connections would I need? Uh, there are a couple of different options for electrics. Depends on what trailer or caravan that you are towing. The older style caravans and trailers have uh, two seven pin sockets. Uh, the newer style um, have a 13 pin socket uh, and uh, they will be common on all new caravans and all new trailers uh, on an ongoing basis. Right, well, I want a detachable tow bar with a 13 pin, so let's get it fitted. Ben, I've got the tow bar and it looks amazing, thank you very much. How does it work? Okay, so you've got your electrics all wired in. We've got a blanking plug for the detachable section. That comes out, the tow ball goes in, push down and you're good to go. So it's idiot proof then? We try to. Okay, I'll give it a go. How do you get it out? Okay, so you push the lever in, give it a turn and remove the tow ball. Awesome, okay, let's give it a go. So, okay. There you go. So, I've got the tow bar, I've got a great towing car, now i just got to learn to tow. <laughs> 